Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will explain the relationship between steady state error and type of a system. So let's see what is the type of system. Type of system means the number of poles present at the origin. Number of poles present at the origin of open loop transfer function. Note here that it's open loop transfer function that is G of S multiplied by H of S of the system. So general form of the transfer function, open loop transfer function is given by G of S into H of S is equal to this one. Now note here in this equation, uh, we have to find the number of poles at present at the origin. So num this is uh, here the numerator indicates Z and denominator indicates the pole. And here S raised to power J will be the number of poles at the origin. So we can say that J indicates here the number of poles at the origin. That means that J indicates the type of the system. If J is equals to 0, it will be type 0 system. If J equals to 1, then it, it is called as type 1 system and J equals to 2, it is called as type 2 system and so on. So in this way, the value of J will indicate the type of the system. Now these are the points to be remembered here. Uh, note here that we have uh, covered these points in our previous video. If you don't know anything about the positional velocity and acceleration error coefficients, that is KP, KV and K, please watch our previous video. The link is given here or you can watch it in the description. So uh, the things to be remembered are this one. Here the position error constant KP is equals to limit S tends to 0 G of S multiplied by H of S. Whereas KV is equals to here. just put S here and you will get limit S tends to 0 S into G of S into H of S. Whereas for KA it is S square and the remaining things are same. Now steady state error for the positional error constant KP it is equals to ES S equals to A divided by 1 plus KP. For velocity it is A upon KV and for acceleration constant it's A upon KA. So remember this thing because we will use further it uh, in our uh, further points So step input to the type 0 system now now note that we are applying step input to type 0 system now for uh, step input we get ESS equals to a divided by 1 plus KP here KP is equals to limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S now the generalized transfer function for type 0 system is this one note here that s raised to power 0 because it is type 0 system s raised to power 0 means it is just one that is no pole at the origin now g of s into h of s is this one and just put this value for the kp and if we put this value here we'll get this values as 0 which is having s over here and 1 will remain as it is the s raised to power 0 is equals to 1 and therefore we will get kp equals to 1 because limit s tends to 0 just put s equals to 0 here now kp is equals to k which is over here and if we put it into our ess formula we will get a divided by 1 plus kp where kp is equals to k which will get k a divided by 1 plus k now uh, by this formula we can say that we will get a finite error over here so if this is step input then our output will look like this this is just a exponential output even there can be an oscillatory output possible so here ESS can be calculated by formula a divided by 1 plus k which is finite error so finite steady state error will be obtained for type 0 system for step input. Now let's move to next topic that is ramp input to type 0 system. If we apply ramp input to type 0 system then ESS again same formula is there that is k is equals to ESS equals to a divided by kv. kv is having formula this one that is to be remembered kv is equals to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s. Now for type 0 system again this one will be the transfer function s raised to power 0 is here 
just put this term over here in this formula of kv and we will get it as zero because limit s tends to zero and if we put s equals to zero over here the whole term will become zero because zero multiplied by anything will be equals to zero and therefore kv is equals to zero and if kv is equals to zero we will get ess equals to a upon zero because it is a upon kv so ess equals to infinite here ESS infinite means our steady state error is infinite that means that if we apply some input the ramp input will look like this and here our output is the here and ESS is continuously increasing it means that for type 0 system steady state error increases continuously for ramp input and hence for a type 0 system we never want in error as infinity therefore they are not suitable for the ramp input now let us move to next input that is the parabolic input to type 0 system again ess equals to a upon k a the value formula for k a is equals to s square multiplied by g of s into h of s and type 0 system is given by this one as the power of s is equals to 0 over here now put this value in the formula of k a this is formula of k g of s into h of s is this one and definitely it will be s square that is 0 multiplied by this term 0 multiplied by any term will be equal to 0 and therefore we will get k a equal to 0 and if we put it, this value in ess the formula is a upon k a that is a upon 0 is equal to infinity and again as it is infinite we can say that for this is parabolic input and our output will be like this and this error signal increases continuously with respect to time and there therefore again we can say that type 0 systems are not suitable for parabolic input because error will continuously increase for parabolic input in type 0 system now uh, we have seen inputs as step input, ramp input and parabolic input for type 0 system. Now let's move to the next one that is type 1 system and let's apply the step input to it. So ESS is equals to again A divided by 1 plus KP. The KP is given by this formula and now for type 1 system the transfer function is given by this one note here that the s raised to power 1 is here because it is type 1 system therefore as j is equals to 1 here here and therefore put this value of kp over here you will get k divided by 0 because s equals to 0 as limit s tends to 0 is there and therefore kp will be infinite as kp is infinite we will get ess is equals to 1 upon kp that is 1 uh, that is a upon 1 plus infinity infinity which is equals to 0 because a something some constant divided by infinity is equals to 0 and therefore we get ess equals to 0 steady state error is 0 it means that our input the, say our input is step input and this is our output it will have zero error signal that is our step input will be followed by our output so we can say that in type 1 system step input will be followed so steady state uh, without any steady state error means that steady state error is zero now let's talk about next input that is ramp input to type 1 system again es is equals to this one kv is given by limit s to 0 s into g of s into h of s for type 1 system transfer function is this one as s raised to power 1 is here and if we put this value in this formula g of s into h of s this value over here it is s multiplied by this one so s raised to power 1 means s and this s will get cancelled now put s equals to 0 in these terms we will get k multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 1 and so on and therefore k 
v is equals to k and if we put this value in ESS we will get ESS is equals to a upon k it means that we will get a finite error like this so we we are applying a ramp input here and we will get output and a constant error here it is equals to a upon k this indicates that finite steady state error for a type 1 system for ramp input now let's see for the parabolic input now parabolic input for type 1 system ES is equals to a upon k k a is having this value just for a type 1 system we will get transfer function like this as s raised to power 1 is here if we put the values here we will get this look at this this s multiplied by this term so s is equals to 0 as limit s tends to 0 is there and 0 multiplied by anything will be 0 and therefore k a equal to 0 and therefore e s s is equals to a upon k a that is a upon 0 which is equals to infinity now as steady state error is infinite we can say that this is our input and output and steady state error will increases continuously and therefore for a type 1 system also the say they are not suitable for, for the parabolic input it is same as that of type 0 system which were not uh, suitable for the parabolic input now next let us move to next type of system that is type 2 system and let's up, apply step input to it ESS is again this one KP is again having same formula and for type 2 system we will get transfer function like this here note here that it is s raised to power 2 because it is type 2 system here j equals to 2 will indicate the type of the system now we'll just put the value here s is having 0 value if we put 0 here the something some constant divided by 0 will, will be always equals to infinity therefore kp is equals to infinite here and therefore ess is equals to a divided by 1 plus infinity that is a divided by infinity which is again equal to 0 as steady state error is 0 here note steady state error is 0 it means that our input step input is followed by output simply and the next one is step input uh, ramp input for the type 1 system ESS is having same formula again the value of kv will be again this one type for a type 2 system transfer function is this one note here s raised to power 2 is there and just put the values here and we will get again this s and this s squares s will be cancelled put s equals to 0 over here we will get kv equal to infinity means k divided by 0 will be infinite and as kv is infinite we will get ESS equals to 0 a upon infinity that is again equal to 0 steady state error 0 means our input will be followed by output so this is our input ramp input and this is our output which is again followed by the output and further therefore ESS will become 0 in case of random input ramp input and uh, definitely such inputs are always prepared because error is 0 so such a systems are more accurate but uh, sometimes there will be the problem of uh, stability but forget about it these are the next uh, topics to be discussed now next one is parabolic input to the type 2 system here es is equals to a divided by k a the k a is equals to this one now for a type 2 system our transfer function is look like this now just put this value in k a and we will get function like this now this s square and s square will get cancelled just put s equals to 0 over here we will get k as our output that is k a equals to k and therefore ESS is having value ESS is equals to a upon k because it is a upon k a so we are getting a finite output here so for parabolic input output will look like this and it is having some finite steady state error in our system 
so we have seen type 1 system type 0 system and type 2 system with for the step input for parabolic input and for ramp input you have to just remember this thing for step input we got kp as a constant and error as 1 upon 1 plus k then uh, kv is equals to 0 we got error as infinity and k equals to 0 and error as infinity for step type 0 system for type 2 system we got kp and kv as infinite and error as 0 whereas ka is some constant k which is equals to 1 upon k and for type 1 system kp is infinite that is positional error constant is 0 uh, in, uh, infinite and therefore error is 0 ka is equals to 0 and error is infinite whereas kv is constant we will we will get it is a divided by k so this is the these are the points that is to be remember here in next video i will discuss about the examples on this steady state error and static error coefficients so keep watching thank you